we just felt helpless. Every time the trains would pass by, we were like, is she okay? Where is she now? She was so smart. She just knew she needed to hide. I really wanted to save her and so did the other volunteers. But we had to wait for the track workers because it was really dangerous. Waiting was the hardest part. It felt like forever. It took about an hour and thankfully it wasn't such a busy time. Yes. <clears throat> when the track workers rescued her, I was like, I'll take care of her. So I brought her to the vet and by miracle, she was totally fine. I was really, really relieved. She had been dyed pink on her back, but thankfully she wasn't injured. She was a little bit shocked, but after a day or two, she started exploring her room, coming near me and letting me pet her. I gave her space, I gave her love, and she returned that to me. She was so happy, and that made me feel like I had done something kind, but I could tell that she loved company and needed a friend. So I had to make that difficult decision to find her the perfect home. When Rosedale met her husband, Snoopy, for the first time, I wouldn't say it was love at first sight. For the first three to four days, she was playing hard to get for sure. She didn't want Snoopy to groom her, but she eventually gave in and they started to sleep next to each other. After the sixth day, they were completely bonded and in love. It was just beautiful to watch how their energies matched. I knew that she was going to be the happiest she could be with Snoopy. She found an amazing husband and an amazing home. People don't realize how much work it takes to take care of a bunny, so they end up dumping them outside, thinking they will be fine. But that's not the case because they don't have survival instincts. They don't know how to make burrows and hide. They're totally different from wild rabbits. What inspires me the most about Rosedale is how resilient she is and how she didn't let that situation change her. She kept that amazing energy, that friendliness, that trust in humans. She's such a beautiful soul and her doctor is super lucky to have her.